She wants to know likes, fun facts, numbers, stats, you know this, right? This will be the 22nd time that CBS had broadcast the Super Bowl. That is the most of any network, and really, we were the first ones. I want you to check out this scene in 1967, before the Super Bowl was the Super Bowl. CBS was there, cameras and all, live coverage from the booth, coaches, Jim Nance of CBS Sports talked to Nate Burleson about it. This was January 15th, 1967 to be exact, and it was called the NFL-AFL Championship Game. It wouldn't be known as the Super Bowl really right. until year two. Right. And the idea of, to call it a Super Bowl came from Lamar Hunt, mm -hmm. the founder of the Kansas City Chiefs, and his son had a little ball, it was called Super Bowl. Discover your new power with Super Bowl. I've got my Super Bowl. The ones that used to bounce up really high, and he thought, well, let's call it the Super Bowl. I mean, we all just wow. are used to hearing it, watching it, knowing that yeah. it's yeah. the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. It's cool to hear how it got started. I didn't know mm -hmm. that story. That's really cool. I didn't know that either. Yeah, and then looking at all of the images of the cameras as yes. well, yes. too. I mean, you compare and contrast. Just so crazy. To today. I know. Big old school yeah. cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So some things change, some things stay the same because we still have the cameras there. We still yeah. have the people sideline reporting, talking to the coaches, all that kind of stuff. Here's another thing. When you win the Super Bowl, oh, yeah. where do you go after you celebrate? Where do you go? Disney. Disney. I'm going to I'm Disney going. That's what they say. Yep. How in the world did that start? Well, the backstory, it all comes back down to 1987. Check this out. This was the debut, by the way. Where are you going, Phil? I'm going to Disney World. Phil Sims, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you doing next? I'm going to go to Disney World. Phil was the first person to ever utter that phrase. He was the trendsetter he for was, that? He was the very first. Okay, and by the way, <laughs> Phil Sims threw almost a perfect game. 22 completions out of 25 Whoa, passes. Wow. Gosh. Right, so if anybody was going to go to the Super Bowl, it was going to be everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So Disney World seems like an obvious choice when you win the Super Bowl. Is there anywhere else you want to go? I mean, they say it all the time, so I'm so used to it now. I just assume, you know. That's, they're, they're going all, to the Super they're Bowl. Going they're going to go to yeah, Disney World, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we have one last tidbit. And this is from Jim Nance. This is about when they do the Lombardi Trophy ceremony. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you win, that yep. kind of stuff, everybody goes on the field. Yeah. And it's kind of like mass chaos, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's, There's a lot reporters. going on. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you always want to interview the people and the players that won. Yep. And how easy is that? Well, <laughs> apparently it's an arm <laughs> it wrestling has to match. Be. Yeah. <laughs> we have one rule in the business never give up the mic. If you have the mic, you have the network. You gotta have a strong grip that, on that, that mic. That network now. is in your hands. If you let somebody just take the mic, they can do whatever they want. And there's a lot of guys that reach for the mic. Well, well and case in point, <laughs> Ray Lewis. You can't tell it here, I'm grinning, but I'm arm wrestling him right here. Baltimore, we coming home, baby! This is one of my proudest athletic achievements yeah, of my life. I see a smile, life. but I see a strain as well. <laughs> well, actually, if you look at our hands, they're almost like in an arm wrestling fashion. 